So today I'm going to create a room for $1,000 using only items found on Facebook Marketplace. So I follow Paige Wassel on YouTube. She's super great. She just did a video where she just designed a whole bedroom using only Ikea products. And I thought, you know what's a great way to make that a million times more chaotic? Doing it on Facebook Marketplace where absolutely nothing is certain. So I decided to set myself a budget of $1,000 to design this room from scratch. And I'm going to assume for the sake of the argument that whoever we're designing for has like a mattress and basic bedding and nothing else. So the bed frame seemed like the obvious place to start. I found a bunch of like wrought iron metal ones because I really like that look, but this one is blue. So I'm like, okay, statement color for a bed frame, whatever. I'm sure we can work something out. I figured I should go for like the next big block of color, which in my mind was a rug. And look at this flower. It's so cute. Honestly, it's giving Animal Crossing. Like, could I get more rug for $100? Yes. Would it be as cute as this? No, it would not. At this point, I felt like we were going more like a modern cottage core thing. And I wanted something a little more like hard lined and a little bit rougher to balance things out and found these barn beam side tables. How rustic, how cute. You guys might think I'm crazy, but I also kind of like this weird little brutalist guy a little bit because again, darker colors, straighter lines, something to offset the girliness a little bit. Obviously a side table is gonna need a lamp. I love these brass ones, but I felt like two lamps was probably overkill. I think this little like brass and milk glass guy is a little more my speed. So I figured if we were going for like the cottagey witchy vibes, we needed like a real quilt. And look at this, look at the, the little witchy, the hands and the, the castle and the, like, come on, come on. At the risk of making everything in this room super blue and brown though, I wanted a little bit of a color counterpoint. So I got this throw pillow with a little bit of an orangey accent and also these two gray ones just to get something neutral in there. Good chest of drawers is necessary. This one is 170 bucks and it's absolutely stunning. Here's a better look at some of the details. I also had this white one in there as a maybe just because it was a little bit cheaper. If you're doing a cottage core room, you obviously need some long ass vines. This is an ivy plant and you're gonna need a cute vintage planter to put it in. Also a cute little vintage dish to put your earrings and stuff in. This one is an owl. It also felt like a blanket ladder fit the vibe. I don't know if blanket ladders are still cool anymore, but this one is very cute and it was only 40 bucks. For finishing touches, we definitely need art. So here's a vintage oil painting. Here's another vintage oil painting. And here's a trio of framed botanical prints. And then I decided I didn't like those, so I swapped in these ones instead. At this point, I had a few bucks left and I was kind of running out of ideas, but then I was like, hey, cute vintage wicker laundry basket. We need that, right? And that's it. Here's my hastily created mood board of everything we got. I think it turned out really cute. It's a nice mix of like color and neutrals with like frilly stuff and practical stuff. I feel like I could have put in a mirror. I think that's one thing we're missing, but I'm really happy with how this design turned out. And if you bought all the stuff on Marketplace, this room would cost you $997. I had a lot of fun doing this. Let me know if you have any ideas for rooms or styles that you'd like me to do a room makeover for. Follow for more DIY nonsense.